Hey everybody, Mr. Graham here, and you're about to learn some science and technology. Kicking it off today with the top five American inventions from 1870 to 1880. Let's get started. Number five, the rotary side cranking can opener. There were can openers of this time period before this one, but they resembled more of like a wooden trowel handle and on the front of that trowel handle was a curved blade and you could make your way around the can lifting and lowering the handle and it was a very slow process and it did take a lot of grip strength this invention here increased your mechanical advantage making this process just a little bit easier number four the railway air brake sometimes called the pneumatic brake. as you can imagine trains that are on the move have a lot of kinetic energy and the best way to stop a train is to by converting that kinetic energy into thermal energy or heat. And the best way to do that, air brakes. The way they work is simple. On the bottom of every train car is this pressurized air tank and a hose that goes down to the brakes and eventually goes to some type of an air compressor. When the engineer wants to release the brakes, he or she increases the pressure by opening up this valve Increasing the pressure tends to open the brakes and allow the train to roll. When you want the train to stop again, you decrease the pressure in the system, thus activating the brakes and slowing the train down. The default setting for these brakes is brakes closed or braking action. And the reason why that is, is because if you lost air pressure in this system by either puncturing, puncturing a line or rupturing the tank, the brakes would lock up, hopefully helping you not to fly off the track and you know, crash. Number three, the American Diner. The American Diner is a Midwestern invention and it really just came about simply from uh, people selling food on the street and trying to move their food uh, products from here to there. And they stopped and said, hey, this is ridiculous. Why don't we set up a, a restaurant, we'll call it a diner and a centralized location that everybody can get to. Number two, the spork, the perfect marriage of the spoon and the fork. Moving on. And number one, the phonograph. It's important to remember that before this invention, if you wanted to listen to music, you had to listen to it live. That meant that you had to be there with your favorite artist singing their favorite song or playing their favorite song while you were watching them do it in person. With this device, you could then listen to your favorite songs without your favorite artist being in the room. The way it worked is simple. Uh, you'd go to the store, you'd buy a, a cylindrical looking box that looked like this, and inside the box was a waxy type cylinder. The cylinder in this picture happens to be the Preacher and the Bear song. Sounds pretty good. You crank up the device, uh, it would turn a needle on this waxy cylinder, then projecting the sound out. Later on, we take this cylinder and squash it down into what we later call a record. Thanks for watching, everybody.